The Terror of Turnips, William Hovey Smith, 2015. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also the forthcoming book, Profit, that will tell you how to make a million or maybe even billion dollar business using your own creativity. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and it is New Year's Eve which is sometimes cause of fear and terror in the kitchen. Yep. Significant other has been the town. What? And he has brought back something. And he said his mama always used to cook these for New Year's Day. And indeed she did. But you ain't never seen them before. Don't panic. What you do? Go to your computer. Ching, 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 ching. No, 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 no. Ching, mm, mm, mm. Ah! Turnips, they are. Yep. So we have turnips. And what your goody Google search will tell you to do with them. No, is that the roots are edible and the leaves are edible and you need to be them. Yeah. Well, don't worry. You need to devein them all right, but they're not going to bleed all over your kitchen. No, these are vegetables. They don't bleed much. But we do need to cut the roots off. You need to separate and wash the leaves, remove these large stems here, and then you cook a few of the roots with the greens, so-called, and then the rest of the roots can be cooked separately. Ooh! Now that's not so hard once you break it down into steps. Okay, so you get your biggest containers you've got, and it may well be uh, the container in your refrigerator that you store vegetables in, because you're going to need to wash these things uh, three times, my mother did, and also the roots. And then we proceed to boil them, and we boil them with some hog meat. Yep, pork. And you need to have some fat in that pork, uh, not just lean pork. In a pinch, you can do it with bacon. But uh, we're going to use wild hog meat since we happen to have it. But this is what you do with your turnips. Okay. So we're going to be about doing some of that, and I'll show you how. Now we have cutting board. And we have us a turnip plant. Okay. We remove the roots. All right. Put them aside and you separate the leaves. Now you can cut them or you can pull them. But you take the leaves and you strip them off these stems. Now when they do it commercially they leave the stems on but you don't want to do that. So this is called deveining. Okay. Now you may find an occasional piece of dirt, or insect even, because these are live plants, don't panic. The dirt you're going to wash away, and the insects you can just drop in the trash can. You see, they're probably mostly dead by now. Now the fastidious among connoisseurs would say that these should actually be all trimmed with scissors because this is less traumatic to the turnip leaf and it bruises less of the leaf than picking them off with the fingers. And I guess there is some 
merit to that. If the leaves are yellow, you just cut that part away. And it's brown. All right. Okay. Making progress. Dirt. It's going to get washed away. If you threw away every piece of turf that had a speck of dirt on it, you wouldn't have anything left, I pray. These things do grow in the real earth. Okay. And that's just one plant. I only have about 15 more to go. Now, some of these plants are quite gritty, as you will see. Uh, yeah, this is going to take a bit of washing to get clean. Uh, it doesn't really hurt anything. Uh, this will wash out, but uh, you do want to wash them several times uh, to get this grit off. It's quite irritating to the teeth. I'm doing the initial washing of the greens in this pan to get some of the loose sand out of here before I put them in the sink and wash them again there. These are coming pretty clean. Uh, my kids would be very disappointed that no, there are no snakes or tarantulas in here. Uh, I haven't even seen a little beetle yet. Although this is a stage that you would find them. They'd go swimming around here on the top and you can get them out easily enough. But, uh, yeah. We're about oh, halfway through our turnip pile now. So we are making progress. Good. Well, you can see the sand we recovered down there in the corner of the tub. Uh, about a level tablespoon, I would say, out of that first batch. Uh, sand is easier to wash than clay. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, we're getting it out of there. We have now washed our turnips, and we have them here in the sink, in water, and we're going to transfer them now to pots, so we can proceed to cook them down. As they cook, they will reduce considerably in volume. And the water now is quite clean, by the way. So uh, we're really doing good in the washing department. I see almost no sand down here in the bottom. So yeah, we've done a good job. A few vagrant leaves there. All right. So now we apply heat. and a little water. Just about a cup. Okay. You now see the pot of greens cooked down. The white you see is one large turnip root that has been cut up and added. And this is about the right proportion of roots. Now I still have about three pounds of roots left over that I will cook separately. Tomorrow I will be grilling some pork outdoors and some of that meat is going to go into these greens. And that's when this dish will actually be finished. Now we are rekindling the grill. Uh, we have cooked a wild hog ham on that. And this is a good size ham. 
and you'll see it in just a second. And we're going to use up the rest of the wood we have split to cook some egg bread to go with our New Year's Day meal. We have now concluded our turnip cooking. Yep. Uh, what this massive piece of meat here is, is a wild hog ham that we happen to be taken uh, from one of Georgia's coastal islands. Now, wild hog is different from domestic ham in that it oftentimes does not have nearly the fat that domestic hogs have. And the way I cook it is to cook it over hardwood coals in a grill. Now, this is true barbecue. And really, this is about what in Georgia is called barbecue. It pulls apart with the fingers. It is tender. It is juicy and moist. And the reason so is because I cook it for about two hours and let it smoke good in a grill, then wrap it in tin foil and cook it in moisture to finish it off. This way the meat stays moist and doesn't dry out, but still has a good smoky flavor. Now this meat was cut and used to season these turnip greens. Yeah, mmm, good. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. And we're gonna take a few out for tasting right now. And you let them drain, by the way. You don't serve them uh, full of soup. Okay. Let these cool for a bit. And now, remember we had plenty of roots. Okay, this is what some of those look like. Now what you do with the roots is peel them and dice them up into about, oh, three eighths inch cubes and boil them. Then you also add wild hog meat and a little butter, salt, and pepper. Now you can mash these and make sort of a uh, mashed turnip root thing out of it. Uh, I personally prefer them cubed, but you could mash them if you wanted to. Now let's see how they taste. Tastes good, almost sweet, and uh, they do need a little butter, so we will add some butter here. About, oh, I would say yay much would be good. Okay. And I'm also going to add a little pepper. coarse pepper indeed, so I'm getting a little fines here. Okay. Stir up. Okay. see how we did. You see it is mashing up rather easily. considerable liquid from those boiled turnips and that's what this is. This is vegetable stock that will actually go in to make a soup and consequently when we cook the ham in water and I tin it up in tinfoil and add about a cup of water 
We also have ham stock here. Now this is going to be used to season black eyed peas right here, which is another part of the traditional New Year's Day meal in the South. So now we have it. We have our black eyed peas making. We have our ham cooked, and this is going to be sliced and served with barbecue sauce. And our turnips are ready for tasting now. You want to see how they did? They're fine. I did add a little butter and a little salt to them before, plus the seasoning from the meat. Mm. Yeah, those are just right. So for now, this is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. These are a series of ebooks I have out for 2014 15, and books numbers 1 through 5 are already published. My forthcoming book, Profit, explains how you can make a million or billion dollar business using your own creativity. I have one video up now, and another video on the subject will be out on January 6th. The entire process of cooking these turnips takes about four hours if you've already got your hog meat. Now, I have a previous video on cooking a wild hog ham, and I'll have a follow-up video on a New Year's Day meal. For more info on my books, blogs, and videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.